Well, good morning, all you uh, turkey hunters, turkey slayers, whatever you are. <laughs> if you're like me, you're just a turkey hunter because you ain't slayed nothing yet. Uh, I hunted Monday in Virginia, and uh, didn't do any good. Didn't hurt it. Didn't hear a single bird. So uh, switching things up. Today is uh, Thursday. I haven't hunted since. I've been super busy this week. Uh, change in pace in life has caused me to uh, slow down hunting just a little bit. But that just means when I get time to get out, like right now, I'm that much more hungry. So uh, headed to Virginia today, going to some national forest, going to see if I can't uh, kill a turkey. It's just me and by myself today. All my uh, my buddies were busy, so <laughs> be rocking the solo film. Should be uh, should make for an interesting video. So. I know where there's some birds just based off last year. Hopefully there's still some birds in there this year. Man, dead silent so far. Dead silent. Not a bird gobbling on the roost, nothing. I haven't seen any scratching up, up here on top either, so maybe the birds are lower this year. I've hunted this area before, and they were up high. But I got a hen. I started cutting a little bit there, and I uh, got a hen fired up here below me. She started cutting back at me. It's kind of taking it easy. I'm going to keep working my way out this ridge here. See if I can't get something to answer, but I ain't never had luck here on the roost. I mean, they've gobbled on the roost for me, but not very much. And uh, I definitely ain't ever killed one on the roost over here. All right, there's only 30 minutes left to hunt, and I just got a bird to gobble down in there. If you go. He just gobbled again. Dang. I was leaving out of here and stopped and called right here. He's got a hen, of course, with him. Okay, I gotta figure out what to do. I gotta pull my truck out of the way first thing. Can, can I kill a gobbler in 30 minutes? Let's see. I parked my truck in the road there, which you should never do before you call, because then if they don't get one to answer like that, then you gotta start up and move it. So I hope it didn't. I think you just gobbled. I hope it didn't jack him up.
Just rolled him. Just rolled him. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the last one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. 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 What a wild, wild change of events there. I know I barely had him in frame. Barely. He was just on the other side of that tree. I moved the camera over there and then took a shot at him. Probably about 35, 40 yards. Well, we'll get him all nice and fanned out here. That's that's about as good as it gets. That goes to show you, like, you never know what's gonna happen, obviously. I've had that happen so many times the last last hour, last 30 minutes. I think that was the quickest though. I heard a gobble and then got on a turkey and killed it. And trying to sell film it at the same time. I just heard that bird, heard a gobble way down in there. I think there's actually four gobble, gobblers, at least three for sure, but I'm thinking four. Those hens, there was one hen there I got on camera for a second. She came up and knew something was wrong. I wasn't in a very good setup. I just plopped down. And uh, there was more hens with her. Well, I had to keep calling just to kind of keep them satisfied because I could tell she was starting to bug out a little bit. And uh, I'd call and it seemed like it'd calm her down. So I kept calling and then I could see some redheads coming. And uh, they just worked their way up to me slowly. I had to move the camera a couple times to get in position. And then finally I got to where I could see a gobbler on camera and uh, the, the camera was on one side of the tree and I leaned out to the other side of the tree and put the old single shot, uh, put, the, put the red dot on his head with the single shot. That 20 gauge with TSS is unreal. I mean, I haven't, I ain't missed a turkey since using it. And uh, that right there, that was a kind of a tough shot. It wasn't, wasn't that far, I think it was 35 or 40 yards probably, but I really had to weave it through there. And uh, man, I mean, like always when I kill a turkey, speechless, but this one's pretty sweet. It means a lot to me because I was, I was texting my buddies. I sent them a text earlier and said, horrible, nothing. Uh, I said, I hope they fire up around 1030. Well, it wasn't 1030, it was 1130. And in Virginia, you can only hunt till noon. And I shot him at like 1145, so. I wasn't expecting to go home with a gobbler, but uh, hey, you never know what to expect. Alrighty, just got the turkey loaded up in the truck. Um, I've never done a, uh, I guess, kill, uh, clean, and cook video, but I'm going to this video. So I'm going to go home, breast them out, and then uh, cut his legs off and show you all how I cook the breast and the legs. I'm going to do it over a two-day period, so we're going to be having a, a lot of turkey at the Price household. But uh, don't go anywhere because the video is just getting started. Alright, so uh, I just made it home from Virginia. Uh, thank you to my lovely wife for volunteering to film this, but uh, I'm gonna show y'all how I clean this turkey. So let's get started. First thing I'll do is it's a beard. Now you can this beard. I mean that's probably an average beard. Uh, on a gobbler, maybe a little smaller to be honest. <laughs> but uh, you can take these beards and uh, actually, if you grab them by the ba bases, just kind of pull them off. But m nine out of ten times, I've done it smoothly. But there is one one time I accidentally pulled a couple of strands, you know, with it. So you just take it and cut it right there. Cut it right there. And then throw a little borax on that, and uh, you're good to go. Flip him over. And then right here on his, uh, uh, right here on this bone right here, you can feel it, it's hard, on his breastbone there. Um, kind of open him up. I prefer to do it as soon as I can actually went after I kill him so he's kind of tightened up because I had about a two and a half hour drive home um, first thing I'll do is just kind of make an incision right there normally they're a little bit more bald than that but uh, this gobbler's actually got pretty good feathers on it so just make a little incision right there right down it just to get it open and then once you get a couple fingers in there 
spread it apart. Love it there. Yeah. Goal is just to get it as wide as you can there. Keep your feathers off of it. Like I said, just make it easier cleaning later. Um, and then all I'll do is take my knife right up against that breastbone and work it down. Keeping it against the breastbone there. And you can just kind of feel it. All right, got a little bit of feather on there, but there's one breast. Now for the other one, same exact thing. So there's the other breast. Throw them in our bowl of ice, just go ahead and get them cooled off. Yeah, see it came off pretty clean there. I probably, I left a little bit here. I can cut around if I wanna get more, but now we're gonna cut the legs off. So same deal here. Just kinda tear down this. All right, so there's there's one leg off there. Um, kind of, I'm not very good at it yet. I've done it a few times. Like I said, I just started eating the legs, but they, uh, you just kind of, kind of, once again, pull away the feathers, pull away the skin, and then you get it down there to the leg and cut around the ball joint there, and it pops right out. So now you have its uh, leg intact. All you have to do is break against the way it bends there. Of course, you'll hear it break, and then it'll break it from that joint. So there's a, a tendon in there. Once you have it broke, all you want to do is cut that. My knife's getting dull on me. All right, got it cut. So then you got it separated. Probably uh, clean up some of those feathers. Didn't do a good job getting it off the base of them there. But I clean that up in a minute. Go ahead and throw that on the ice. So we got one foot cut. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and uh, we'll be done. But yeah, super easy. Once again, you're just going to pull this, pull the skin away from it and get the feathers clear of it. I just kind of cut down as I go and then separate it and then cut down there around the ball joint. Break, don't break to the side it bends, break opposite from it. And it'll break right, right off there. Cut the tendon and you've got both legs and the breast. So then after that, we're going to go inside and uh, cook up some of the breast. Alrighty, so now we're, uh, we're at the cook portion of the uh, catch, clean, cook, and we're at the cook portion. So this is a super simple recipe. Uh, actually, the, my buddy slash mentor, uh, Jordan Summit, I, I learned it from him uh, on their YouTube channel, uh, Strut Commander. So if you want to watch the recipe in a lot better detail, you can click in the descri description right there. There's a link to it, and uh, you can learn this recipe a lot better. But I'm going to show you all the quick and dirty. So uh, yeah, first thing you're going to do is, once you got your turkey breasted out, um, and this is all turkey breast, I'm not doing the legs right now. Um, once you got it breasted out, you just want to take it, clean it up real good, cut all the nasty stuff off of it, and then chunk it. So I just got it all in a bunch of chunks right here. Alright, so we've got, uh, we got four ingredients here, um, other than the turkey of course. We've got bacon, honey, chili powder, and brown sugar. All you're going to do is take some of the brown sugar. Pour it in a little bowl. I'm not measuring it out or anything like that. I just kind of give it the old eye test. All right, so I put about half the bag in there, around a pound. Um, I'm gonna take the uh, chili powder. If I can figure out how to open it. Mix it in as well. Mix it up. All right, so we got our uh, brown sugar and chili powder mixed up. Now we're gonna take our bacon and uh, cut it into uh, thirds. And what we'll do is we'll take the turkey Throw it in the brown sugar slash chili powder. Kind of get a nice coating on it. Should look like that. And uh, once you get it nice and, and coated, um, you're going to take it and we're going to wrap it in bacon. Wrap it in bacon. We'll put it back on the uh, sheet. And uh, that's about it. I almost forgot the secret ingredient. This is the best part, the honey. So we're gonna add it on here. All right, now for the big reveal and to add honey. So 
We actually just checked it and they're ready to come off. So I hit it's they've hit 165 degrees. Here we go. You ready? Oh, son. Here goes nothing. First time trying to smoke. We've done it in the oven, and if you don't have a smoker, you can just throw it in the oven. They're really good that way, too, so first smoke for me. Yeah. Still hot. Ooh.